do it. If we can get it, I think it would be perfect. I think it's going to be a big project. I think it's going to be a bigger project than we thought. It did end up being a bigger project than we thought. Much, much bigger. But we went at it with everything we had and managed to tear this salvage sailboat down to her bones. Okay, this is day seven of our last day of grinding. We made a huge mess, cleaned it up. We made a bunch of memories, soaked those up. <laughs> and then, layer by layer, we rebuilt this wreck of a vessel. And somehow, a few hundred sleepless nights later, all the pieces started coming together. It's been a journey. It's been hard and ridiculous and fun and scary. And now it's all behind us, packed up nicely in a box labeled nostalgia. In front of us are a million unlived moments that our boat will take us to. But first, we have to pass the most important test yet, which is our insurance survey. Hey guys, good morning. In case you missed the last episode, Brett and I, right here, Hi. he's still going. We just stayed up all night getting the boat ready because in 45 minutes from right now, our surveyor is coming back. This will be, I think, his fourth time to the boat and this will be the final survey, the final insurance survey before our boat will be eligible for insurance and will be cleared of its name as a salvaged vessel. That means... Which, can we clarify? Yeah. That there's actually no such thing as oh. a salvaged titled sailboat? That is a question we get a lot, or, or a lot of concerns, or even a lot of like the, the haters who are like, you can't do this. Salvaged sailboats don't work the same way as salvaged cars. We'll make a video on that, I think. Should we make a video on that? Yeah, we'll see. Once we, once we get all the insurance cleared and stuff, I think and that... Then we'll be able to have a lot more for Yeah, then we, well, then we can break down the whole process. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. Basically, we just stayed up all night. We got everything ready. What we did is we went through and we checked all of our systems. And we checked basically that, all the systems that he's going to check. And then we were really nervous and didn't know what to do with ourselves. And we couldn't sleep. So we deep cleaned the whole boat. We reorganized all of the cabinets. We scrubbed the floor. We scrubbed the toilets. And we basically got it where the boat is now 100% ready to sail as soon as we get the okay from our surveyor, who is coming in now 40 minutes. That's the update for you guys. Welcome to this morning. I apologize. I don't know what's gonna happen, Might but I know that Brett, Brett and I haven't slept until since I can't even speak English, and that's the only language I speak, so this is really a sad day. Um, we are tired. I think, stink too. I think we're getting too old for this we'll all-night thing. Uh, I don't stink. I don't stink at all. Do I? Yes. Mm. It looks amazing. I'm happy about it. And here's the plan. Surveyor's coming in 35 minutes. And... <laughs> These five minutes should go by quick. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how long you've been talking. It has not been oh, 10 minutes. I've only been talking for three minutes. My, my contact <laughs> time must have gone away. There's Dingo. I would talk to you guys more, but my arm is honestly getting really tired and I'm going to set the camera down. Thanks for being here. Welcome to this episode. It's a really exciting one. <laughs> Brett just called. He's walking the dogs out in the parking lot and he said that the surveyor just pulled up. So I will see you guys <laughs> after the survey. Wish us luck. Oh, that was so good. That was amazing. That was so good. Oh my gosh. How long has it been? What time is it? It's been hours. I'm starving. It's 12 o'clock, so we've been here for three hours. All right. That's actually not that long. Three hours. He went through the entire boat with a fine tooth comb. Can I come stand by you? <laughs> this is a little too zoomed out. There we go. Oh man. What a day. Hey guys. That was such the roller coaster. Holy crap. Oh my crap. gosh. Like, I, wow, this is really close to my face. I'm sorry, um, my arms are quite tight. Here, was... why don't we just set it up and sit down? Yeah. Okay, so he just left. I want to like these things. Wham, wham. If anybody has any, no, I, I want recommendations oh, okay. for other videographers because- There's a Peter McKinnon one. <sighs> yeah, maybe we should check that one out. See, here's the thing. This is not me complaining. This is me saying it's really important for Brett and I that we capture authentic videos and being able to grab the camera quickly to capture the emotion where we're not trying to, like, we can't, you can't repeat emotion. 
So we have to be able to get the camera, turn the camera on, and film as things are happening. Like, Brett turned around after, right, like, the surveyor just left. Brett turned around. I grabbed the camera, turned it on, because yep. otherwise, yep. Brett's gonna turn around and be like, Jade, and I'm gonna have missed, it. you know what I mean? Anyway, I can't be wasting time <laughs> bending the tripod. Oh, that was that story? <laughs> yes. My goodness. <sighs> okay. Here's the deal. He went through the boat, started on the outside, started at the very tip of the boat. We, we told him we were gonna act it out. No. <laughs> started at the very front of the boat and went through literally inch by inch, all the way aft, went through every single locker, everything. everything. Then came in the boat, started at the front, worked all the way aft, looked in everywhere. Every, every, every cubby, every, everything. I've never seen anyone, professional or otherwise, in any industry be as thorough as our server. That meticulous. Today. Yeah, he had a big old clipboard with basically everything he wanted to look at, and it was multiple pages. He checked all of them, and I think we came out pretty good. He said we came out great. He says for a boat this size, by the end of it, he usually has five pages of recommendations for repairs mm -hmm. or upgrades you need, and we only had two. And I think one of the two was rusty hose clamps throughout the whole boat. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like every other yeah, item was it that. Was, yeah, and, and those were, oh, there's only one of them where it was like, you need to replace that one. That was on the like raw water, or no, the exhaust of the generator. The other ones were like, but ah, you know, I think this one's rusty. Yeah, I think this one's rusty. At this point in time, I don't think anybody cares about our hose clamps or the intakes. Everybody cares about the glass. No, work. they care about the rusty. Do you guys care about our rusty hose clamps? They care about the hose clamps. We can clamps, walk right? you through and show them. <laughs> no, but here's what here's what he said, and I don't, won't get a verbatim. But he said, the level of glass work that we have done, the way that it looks, and the what did he say? The quality he, yeah. of glass work that we yeah, did. Yeah, he said I can tell you're really, an artist. Yeah, the, that's right. I can tell you're an artist, and the only time that he has ever seen glass work that good is on race boats. That's pretty cool. That's a huge compliment. <laughs> yeah. Huge and I'm compliment. over here like, it looks and we're, so bad. I know. He's like, okay, let's take up all the soul boards. And we're like, do we have to? <laughs> it's no, we promise. It looks well, good. And as I'm pulling it up, I'm like, I'm going to repair this. And he's like, you're delusional. Like, yeah, <laughs> don't yeah. waste your time repairing this. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. So he said it looks fantastic. He, and he's been the same guy that's been coming and seeing it from right, torn apart to is, halfway through. I think he's through sorry, glass. We are talking over And each now other. painted. Bro, I'm just excited, and you're excited. And, and so he has pictures all along the process for the insurance if they want it. He knows what it looks like, and so he was laughing about, oh, yeah, there, hey, there's dust in here. Oh, hey, there's dust in here. Because there's, like, dust in some weird places. Like, it, it was... if you if you crawl under the shower, you know, like, where you can't access, he's like, yeah, there's dust in here. like, yeah, there's dust in Because <laughs> you can't get in there. <laughs> but, it's, I mean, he even called me, he's like, oh, it looks great. Like, yeah, this is... This is fantastic. It was really fun. The so. last time he came in, Brett was at work and I had just finished the last bit of glassing. So he came this time and we've done we've all the cleaning, all the painting, all the reassembly. And when he came last time, all the gel coat was exposed. I had sanded everything down and I hadn't painted yet. It was really fun having him come walk in and see his face be like, whoa, it's a house in here again. Yeah, that's what he said, right? Oh, it's a house again. It was really nice. Yeah. It was a good thing. So he's going to go through all of his typing and write it all up for us. And he said, oh, yeah, it was pretty quick. We have to pay him. <laughs> he, we, we, we didn't have a check because we're too young or yeah. something. Oh. But we'll get it to him. It's generation. Anyways, yeah, so he's going to get us that list. And honestly, it was such minor stuff. Some of it was like get some gear. Like uh, we don't have an EPIRB yet. Apparently you can rent life rafts, which I think we'll right. totally do. Yeah, there's a number of things that we are getting or have pending with different sponsors. So the idea of being able to rent them in the meantime through all it's of this. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, because even like the life raft, he's like, you're, you're going to buy one? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I mean, I was thinking about it. He's like, just rent one. <laughs> yeah, so I think... So which totally makes sense. We'll rent one for now until we decide what company to go with. Yeah, so... I am so thrilled with how it went. I am, I'm thrilled with who we had as a surveyor, too. Yeah. He's awesome. He's the kind of person that you want when you are... Buying, buying a boat, a boat but not, not when you selling. were selling a boat he is because he was so meticulous and that's why he he came i highly recommended yeah. I highly recommended i think underscore or no it was you're using this guy here's his number i'm so glad the yep. he he, he, rem awesome. he reminds me of my uncle who's an aerospace engineer i think that his level of 
brain capacity is very higher than average for sure yeah he just and he got to the end of it and he told us everything wrong with the boat without even hardly looking at his notes like that kind of thing yeah just very sharp knew he knew his stuff he knew his stuff so well but was so kind and so non-condescending which i feel like it's a hard combination. No, no, it's not. The people who actually know their stuff are kind. Oh, yeah. And are willing to teach and yeah. understand that other people are learning. It's the people who don't actually know their stuff that are mean. Yeah. Well, and he even <laughs> made that joke. He's like, yeah, all you need now is 20 years of sailing experience. <laughs> I was like, well, in 20 years, we'll have that. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, we'll get <laughs> like, started. Give us 20 years, and then we'll have it. He's like, yeah, well, you got to do a start. I think that's back-ordered. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So, long story short, great survey, great surveyor. The boat is great. I'm really glad um, he, he had really, much. really high, what? I'm glad we cleaned as much as we did. Too. He had really high opinions of our work and of the boat and of its condition and of all the systems and everything. And everything's fantastic. Pretty small order of repairs. I think we could probably do all of the repairs on his list in a day. I think we could too. Yeah. And then we'll have had a boat with a meticulous surveyor with no more suggestions. Obviously there's always upgrades and stuff, but as far as oh, sure. everything is safe and maintained and you guys. <laughs> yeah. So there it is. We are done. The boat is officially seaworthy. It has been checked and signed off by arguably the best surveyor in the area. I would argue that. He has almost nothing but good things to say about it. Yep. About as good as you could possibly imagine for a 13 year old boat mm. and a lot of the systems being original so yeah. i i have zero complaints with how this went and i think we deserve to make some pumpkin pie <laughs> yes that sounds so and good maybe a nap <laughs> i can't nap i need to edit a video uh, anyways <laughs> thank you guys for coming on this journey of building this boat there's still a lot to do we still have a lot of projects and obviously we'll bring you along as we do these little repairs and get everything ready, but... Can we make the announcement? What announcement? As of... You're not pregnant. That's not the announcement. Why do people always... Women can have announcements that do not have anything to do with Yeah, but that's fertility. generally not the announcement. I'm just saying. It's are a you, little sexist. Are you saying you're pregnant? Well, what if I was? Then you should probably tell me before them. <laughs> <laughs> The announcement is that as of this moment, or rather maybe in three days when he emails us the typed up document. And we pay him. Sea Vessel. What's the name of the vessel? Sailing Vessel. Sailing Sea Vessel. <laughs> our boat, our salvage sailboat, is no longer a salvage sailboat. Scratch out salvage sailboat. Just sailboat. We would really appreciate you guys brainstorming new YouTube titles for us because... Yeah, Salvage Sailboat has done pretty well for us, but now previously we... Previously salvaged? Yeah, X salvage, <laughs> unsalvaged, desalvaged. Technically, we salvaged it. Oh, it yeah. has been salvaged. Anti-salvage. <laughs> we'll we, come up with something. You guys, we did it. Brett, yeah. we did it. Can you... I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. <laughs> I'm gonna cry on camera. Gross. <laughs> that was so stressful, guys. I can't even explain to you. Especially because when he first showed up, he was pretty serious. Is that the right word? He's he dry. was business. He's he was dry, all he, and it was but in straight a good business. Way. Oh yeah. Again, it's the guy you want because he. he you're not going to sweet talk him. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, the boat's great. Yeah, no, no, you, you don't need to look in there. Just, nah, <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, it was awesome. But yeah, it was, we did it. We have officially saved this boat from, I don't know what it would have been. Someone else would have probably fixed it poorly. But now it Maybe is. Maybe they would have, I don't know. We talked to some of the other boaters and I think they're all very competent. Yeah, I do too. Well, yeah, a lot of them were professional. But, yeah, we, we saved the boat, and not only did we save it, we turned it into our home. Yep. But don't worry, there's a lot left to do. I, we still haven't sanded, fared, or painted the, the south battery. bilge. The south bilge. <laughs> Nor have aft. we sailed it. Also that, we haven't... Hey, you want to go sail? Right now? No, I'm too tired. <laughs> I want to, we could, it's not that late. 
No, I need to edit. Oh, it's only 12? <sighs> if you were to ask me, I would have said like five. Uh, we should go sailing soon, but let's, let's plan the sailing day so we have a whole day on the water. That'd be fun. I want our first sail to be perfect. That's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this YouTube journey. Yeah. And So, uh, you know, thanks for being here. This is the last video on our channel. That's Projects. what I was getting at. <laughs> is that what you yeah. were going to say? Yeah. <laughs> the expedition Evans is over. Yep. We did it. Yep. We'll see you in 20 years when we have sailing experience. <laughs> <laughs> but Ob obviously, obviously, we're not going away. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yeah. You're not getting rid of us. Yeah, we've closed the chapter of the Rifa and opened the novel of the circumnavigation. We can we can now become a sailing channel. Up until now, we've been more of a project channel. Yeah, I think up until now, it's been like, nobody knows what we are, but you're all here anyway. So yeah, it's like a sailboat, but is it a sailboat? Because it doesn't have a mast. So is it just like a weird looking motorboat? Like, I think it's a really gorgeous motorboat, although it's rather slow. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> it's a really... Poor performing motor, but anyways, we now have sails. We have a mast attached to the sails. Yep. We have a mast attached to the boat, attached to the keel, and yep. we have a clean bill of health. Yes, we do. Okay, so serious matter of business. If you've been watching our whole refit and you've been enjoying them, now would be a good time to subscribe if you have not already. Most of you have. Also, we might lose a lot of you here pretty soon because it's no longer a project channel. But don't jump to that so fast. If There's a lot of if projects If you're here for the project come. channel, hold tight. We are not done. We are going to sail this thing. Eventually we're gonna put kitchen counters back in the galley. And I guess galley counters. I was gonna say, I was like, we're gonna put kitchen counters in the galley? <laughs> and we need solar and a dinghy and a life raft and you know all the different upgrades but those are gonna those are gonna happen more slowly now because we've decided we, we, we want to sail we've had a serious talk about it <clears throat> there's a lot of things i think people as you've been watching this channel you're thinking now would be a great time to do that and you're right kind of we decided not to we decided to just get the boat ready enough and pretty enough and safe enough that we can go sailing and as we're sailing and actually living on it and actually experiencing what it's like to be on this boat what we want to change what yeah. we want to upgrade that way and like and that goes to all the people that are saying hey now would be a great time to do this and that's, this would be a great time to do that and you're right there are a lot of things that would have been really good to do at that time like redo some of the wiring or redo some of the plumbing or whatever and you're right the problem is that we don't want to do that twice Mm -hmm. And so right now we know that this works. So let's put it back together. Let's sail it for a while, maybe just a season, yeah. maybe longer say, okay. and say, okay, yeah, we really do want blank or no, we really didn't end up wanting that right. or whatever. Yeah. And then we can do it. So Things that's like, the plan. We want to add a huge extra freezer, but maybe this freezer space is enough. <laughs> right. We want to add a ton of solar, but maybe we need half of what we think. Those kinds of things. Exactly. So it's all going to happen. Anyway, where were we going with that? Yeah. Subscribe. If you haven't already. For all of you who've yeah. been here with us from the beginning. Thank you. Even if you've been here since last week, like this whole journey has been all the more special having the videos. Yeah. Having you It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. It's I've... been hard. <laughs> In it's a good been way. hard for you especially. Because I've taken on a lot of the planning and the hands on of things and she's taken all the hand pretty much all of the hands on of the editing. Yeah. So if you like these videos, mad props to Jade. Oh, thanks, babe. You help with them a lot all the time. You never give yourself enough credit. I know, but... You help I, with every video. You, you more, like, tell me what to do, but you definitely have to put, like, the brain work into it. I'm the, but, I'm the creator. Exactly. Right? And exactly. you're the analytical. Exactly. This is how we work. I know. This is why we work. Yeah. <laughs> so you come up with the ideas and then I make it work. Yeah. And that's kind of been the story of everything in our marriage so far. I, I think that's the best part of our... See? <laughs> Thanks for being here. Next video will be our very first sale on this boat. Probably. Unless something else happens. <laughs> is that your version of a cliffhanger? <laughs> That's my way of saying we that, can't make that promise. Is that your real life expectation? That's my real life expectation <laughs> of honestly, who knows what happens tonight. Like maybe the rudder falls off. Maybe I, I break my leg. Who knows? Yeah. Or I've maybe, done that a few times maybe, in my life. That's always Maybe a Maybe you touch an electrical terminals together and burn your face off. Our surveyor. 
that's almost a direct quote of what our surveyor said about somebody that <laughs> did that. And so if you haven't watched last week's video, this joke's gonna be gonna be lost on you. But when we were prepping for the survey, one of the things was getting all of the batteries mounted in the battery boxes, and then I was reattaching the battery cables. We were putting it all together in parallel so we'd have all of our 12 volt. 12 volt. And as I was doing it, I accidentally dropped the wrench. And of course, it's a negative and positive and just <laughs> And so then- Firework show. So then get this, surveyor's here. And he's saying, yeah, you need to get you know, it's not required, but it's a, it's a good idea to get a cover for your positive terminals because if somebody gets in the battery area who doesn't know what they're doing, they drops can, a wrench or something. <laughs> drop a wrench or, and Brett just looks at me and I just say, you know, that would be terrible. We should, we should get people who don't know what they're doing away from our batteries. What's that? I don't know. <sighs> okay, it's getting chilly in here. We need to turn the heater back on. Yeah, this we is need pretty food. stream of comp stream of consciousness and we're not very conscious we're losing so. consciousness anyways thank you we love you goodbye <laughs> <sighs> i wasn't recording you're joking